Hey guys, so if you've been spending some time playing around with the cool new machines in Tears of the Kingdom, you'll notice that battery capacity is going to be a constant issue for you. The more cool stuff you put onto a machine, like more fans and rockets, the faster it's going to drain your battery, and then the more difficult it is to really have fun with the machines. So the solution to this is to upgrade your battery. Now I'm assuming at this point you know how to do it, but I'll briefly glance over it. What you'll need to do is purchase the uh, crystallized charges, and you can actually find them in several chests in the depths. So right now I'm, I'm next to a forge construct in the depths of Hyrule. And there's a couple of these things to find. They're not, they're not uncommon. They're essentially stores that sell some of these Zonai bits. Every 20 or every one of these requires three large Zonai. And when you purchase one, it'll give you 20 crystallized char charges. And with 100 of those, you can purchase one new cell for your battery. So these will respawn every now and then. So you can use this to your advantage. So the difficult thing you need to do is to obtain enough large zonite to be able to purchase these crystallized charges to then be able to upgrade your battery. So what I have is a really handy glitch that's going to show you how to get a lot of large zonite without having to do any work and this will then allow you to purchase all of the crystallized charges that you need to be able to upgrade your battery. So to do this you're going to need to have version 1.1.1 of the game. It won't work with any older versions of the game and as of the time of writing this guide 1.1 is the latest version of the game, so I don't know if it'll work in the future. But if anybody is playing in the future and you found it does still work, please drop a comment just to let others know. So to start with, what you're going to need to do is get Large Zonite to be the very last item in your inventory. Now, if you um, order by the type, Zonite will make its way down the bottom anyway, but it won't be the very last item. So what you're going to need to do is hold them, all four, and drop them on the ground. And what this will do is now Large zon Zonite is the very last item on my inventory. Now the glitch will work if you don't do this, but if you don't, it will delete everything that comes after the Large Zonite. So that's why you want Large Zonite to be the very last item on the list, otherwise you'll end up losing things that come afterwards. Now on top of this, you're going to need to have any item in your inventory, it doesn't matter what it is, but you're going to need to have a quantity of one. So I have a few items here that you can see I have a quantity of one, so I'm fine in that regard. If you don't, you can either dispose of a couple of items to get it closer down here, or you can just go up higher in the inventory. It doesn't matter where the item of one is. All that matters is that the, if the four large zonai or whatever quantity you have are at the bottom. And what you'll need to do then is find a place that's a little bit high. So I'm going to just uplift to this little area here. It doesn't need to be too high. And the point is because you're going to be dropping some items on the ground and you want to be able to retrieve them. And if you're too high, they could fall down chasms or get lost. Um, another thing before we go any further is that you can't do this with any more than 20, 26, I think it is. Because if you do, they'll start to vanish when you drop them on the ground. So it's best to just keep this in a relatively low quantity and buy the charges immediately. So just use this glitch as you need them to buy the, the crystallized charges and work your way on from there. So what I'm going to do is, when I'm standing on the edge here, I'm just going to glide. So I'm going to jump and use my glider. And while I'm in the air, I'm going to pause the game to go into the main menu. So here. So right now, Link is currently mid-flight. And I am in the materials menu in the game. So what you need to do is pick any of the items that you have a quantity of one of. So in this case, I'm going to hold this item. And I only have one of it. And then I'm going to hold my four large zonite charges. So right now in my hand, I have one of those toenails and four large zonite charge or five low, large pieces of zonite. Now what I need to do is just press the B button to exit this menu. And you'll see that my items have dropped below me. I'll go and pick them all back up. And now I have large eight pieces of large zonite when I only had four a minute ago. Now I can repeat this again. I'll hold all five, drop them on the ground, pick up the other three, drop them on the ground, pick all those up. And I'll do the exact same thing again. I'll just go up here to I have a, a little bit of a height. And I'll do another glide as I did before. Pause the game. Hold the toenail. Hold four more pieces of large zonite that fall to the ground. I'll pick them all up. And now I have 12. And that's it. Simple way to constantly duplicate the amount of uh, of the large zonite that you have. And now that I have all of these, I can run over to this little store and I can purchase more of the crystallized charges. And I'm away to go. I'll have all the crystallized charges I need. I'll be able to quickly upgrade my battery. 
You can just wait around for a while. Um, how many do I have down here? I found three in this area. Four. So this means I could get uh, four cells of a battery every couple of minutes. All I have to do is wait around in time. I can sleep at the stables. Do whatever I need to do to pass some time before the forge constructs will um, restock their charges. Now I think it'll be a blood moon at the, the latest before they'll recharge. If that's the case, it's a little bit inconvenient. But I'm pretty sure you can just sleep at the stables or somewhere and it'll refresh. Whatever that does, that will typically refresh a vendor's stock. Um, now this does mean you'll have to have explored some of the depths, but there is one saving grace. If you go to the sky, there will have been a forged construct that you might have remembered encountering when you used the rail cars. So you end up in the middle of the mountain, and there's a guy in there who also sells the crystallized charges. And you can purchase them from him if you're in a little bit of an earlier state of the game and you haven't explored much of the depths. And this can be a handy way to also get an additional battery charge if you feel like going to the effort of exploring the the sky every single time because it's not an easy one to fast travel to. You will have to do a bit of a, a leap and dive and use the rail cart to get back down underneath the mountain. But if you're early on in the game, it might be more appealing to you just so you can get the battery charges upgraded a little bit because they are ben very beneficial. And when it comes to exploring the depths, having more battery makes it a lot easier. So it's sort of a, a catch-22. But if you're willing to go to that little bit of extra effort, this will give you infinite zone, large zonite and in turn infinite large uh, zonite charges. Now these uh, those crystallized charges don't show up in your inventory, they're like a currency so you can't duplicate them directly. But it does allow you to at least duplicate them and make your life an awful lot easier in the long run when it comes to the batteries. So hopefully that guide helped you out. I'll talk to you later.